January 9, 1965, Edward Downs hosts a spirited singer's roundtable with mezzo-soprano Regina Resnick, tenor Jan Pierce, and baritones George London and Robert Merrill. From Los Altos, California, Mr. Schroep wants clarification. He says it's hard for him to assess the conductor's contribution to an operatic performance. And he wants to know how and to what extent a conductor can bring out the best in a singer's performance. And conversely, how he can be a handicap. Yeah, Mr. Merrill? I think that's one, one of the uh, faults that I find here. with some conductors, and I love them all, <laughs> <coughs> is that they try to inject sometimes their own personalities into the roles that we play, and sometimes their personalities just don't fit those yeah, roles. Well, Miss Resnick? Well, the perfect marriage between the pit and the stage, of course, is an ideal situation. When it does happen, it's a great night, and the audience knows it, and we know it too. A great accompaniment from the pit and consideration for this one great lonely voice singing above this orchestra and to these thousands of people is a very welcome thing. But very often, um, the conductor doesn't understand, the singers don't understand the conductor, and sometimes even despite that situation, you can get an exciting performance. And that is, I think, everybody keeping their wits and keeping personalities out of it and trying to interpret to the best of their ability what the composer had to say. Uh -huh. I, th I think Mr. London has something to add to that. Well, uh, <clears throat> there are some conductors, of course, uh, who will look at you suspiciously during the evening, and if you sing uh, an eighth note where it's supposed to be a quarter note, they look like you're going to be drawn and quartered after the performance is over. And once in a while, you'll have a conductor, and this is all, uh, not too frequent, who looks up at you and smiles. <laughs> it's very simple. It's almost yeah. childish. He smiles at you, uh -huh. and you have a feeling that he's on your side and that you're uh, here together to make music and you're on the same team. It can make all the difference in the world. Mr. Pierce, did you have something to add to that? In my experience with uh, Toscanini, you never <clears throat> missed the idea that there was a conductor standing and conducting mm -hmm. for you, and that mm -hmm. was his personality. But he let you sing and express yourself the way you meant to express yourself. In other words... Most conductors want you to sound and interpret the way they think it should be interpreted. Mm -hmm. With Toscanini, you rehearsed, and he let you express your own feeling and your own emotions, and it was a happy wedding.